All right, YouTube, it's me, David Harry, your favourite YouTuber and vlogger. So, just like many other millions of sheep yesterday, I was glued to YouTube watching the Apple event. However, because I am quite clearly the dickhead of the flock, there was probably a bunch of stuff that I missed during the main event, which I then come to realise afterwards through another video with certain information, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So anyways, what I'm going to do is just cut into one of the other videos that Apple released yesterday and just check out what's being said here. Now, you can shoot in ProRes 4K at 60 frames per second while recording directly to an external drive. Okay, so how amazing is that news there? So basically, the iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max are both capable of recording up to 4K 60 ProRes directly to an external SSD. I mean, seriously, it's a friggin' phone and it can do that. That is just mind-numbing. However, a little bit later in that short sequence out of that video, you clearly see somebody passing off the SSD to somebody else who then goes away into the background and obviously plugs it into a Mac and starts editing with it. Now that to me is just absolutely mind-blowing from a phone right now don't get me wrong these are expensive phones and stuff do you know what i mean there's no getting around the fact that they should be able to do stuff like this however we have proper cameras and like say cinema cameras maybe not so much cinema cameras but we do have a lot of proper video cameras that can't even do that yeah apple are now putting that onto a phone and as far as i'm aware it's the first phone that can actually do that as well i mean there's definitely no samsung phones that can do that i mean i've got like the flip phone and the S23 Ultra, they definitely can't do that. So this is actually a really big deal. Now, there are a bunch of other things as well there. It records like Asus standards and stuff like that. It's absolutely mind-blowing what they're actually pumping into this new phone. Now, there are a couple of things here that we have to kind of like, you know, rein ourselves with and keep in check with. First thing is, this is all only going to be really great stuff as long as those camera systems are any good good now my experience of iphones in the past is that they suffer massively from like lens flares and stuff like that so if apple have got the lens flare malarkey under control and stuff then yes this could be a massive deal for anybody who shoots on mobile devices and obviously especially iphones and stuff however it is not all good news because anybody who buys into the 15 and the 15 plus cannot do that and the reason why is because for whatever reason, Apple have limited their USB-C ports to USB 2 data speeds. So basically, you can only go up to 480 megabits per second out of the ports on the 15 and the 15 Plus, whereas like, you know, the Pro and the Pro Max both go right up to 10 gigabits per second, which obviously can help facilitate that fast data stream to be recorded directly to an external SSD as far as video is concerned. Plus, there's a whole heap of other other things as well that the 15 and the 15 plus simply won't be able to do because of that limitation on the USB-C port. However, I don't want to go Apple bashing in this video. I want to try and keep this one quite positive and upbeat if I can, and obviously try and keep it as short as I can. So on that point there, that is the basis of this video, just to let people know that like big massive nugget of information, which this dickhead Apple sheep didn't quite get hold of on the main announcement. Anyways, to to my YouTube buddies out there, I'm going to try and upgrade my Gen 3 SE here, and I will try and get hold of a Pro Max. However, I tried doing this last year as well, and I got caught out trying to order it when they run out of stock within like two nanoseconds on the Apple website in the UK. So whether I get one or not is just going to be completely down to pot luck, but I will be trying to get hold of one. And if I do, I will definitely be doing something with this Acasus Thunderbolt enclosure. What it is, Acasus seen one of my videos on my main channel and have got in touch with me and want to start giving me products to do videos about one of them is going to be this thing which is like an updated version of one of their thunderbolt enclosures that you put ssds inside of this one's really cool it's got a fan inside it and stuff like that it's a bit bigger than the previous one so heat dissipation should be a lot better on this one not that the older one was bad or anything but some of these ssds do kind of like run mad hot and stuff so hopefully this one's going to be good now if i 
that don't get the iPhone Pro Max 15 or whatever I'm getting, um, I will definitely still be doing a video about this, but it's likely to be done with something like a Mac Mini or an iPad Pro or something like that. However, I will not be putting those types of videos on this channel. And the reason why is, as I've said in the past, this channel is not monetized. I get terrible views on this channel. And if I put anything on my main channel, I'm bound to make some money out of it. So if I'm going to go splurging on like, you know, the best part of 1500 quid for a phone, I've got to try and claw that money back somehow. Anyway, so there will be those things on my main channel. So anybody who's into that stuff, keep an eye on my main channel and stuff like that. However, for this channel, I may start doing some more of this stuff to do with the likes of iPhone and stuff like that as well. Who knows? Anywho, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.